in tragedy, I've often found that most tragedies are mislabeled tragedies because the characters within them are usually so lacking in grandiosity that the tragedy seems kind of frivolous. And and tra- it's, just, it's just a uh, it's just a stupid bastard like Hamlet or something that gets himself uh, that suicides. Yeah, they're not they're not really tragedies. Tragedy isn't a terrible thing that happens. It can't. It is a terrible thing. But a tragedy also involves the element of a great person. Watergate was a tragedy when the president of the United States, because of his own insecurities, ends up screwing himself. And th- there's some great humor with a, a couple of Richard Nixon scenes here too in this book. Um, you know, when Richard Nixon is going to the movies with his wife, uh, there's you know there's a funny scene, and, and he appears once or twice after that too. Um, but anyway. Richard Nixon seems to be a uh, yeah, a great uh, comic foil, somewhat somewhat uh, in uh, your whole universe. Well, yeah, uh, Richard Nixon and Frank Sinatra were two villains of my dad's life. My dad, there were the two people my dad hated the most was Sinatra and Nixon. And one of the reasons I actually have Paulie Maravelli have the scene where he beats the shit out of Frank Sinatra with grass knuckles. That's sort of an homage. That's that's a bone to my dad. My dad would love to have read that scene because Paul is about 20 years older than Frank Sinatra. And when Sinatra first became a big time singer in the late 30s, uh, he wouldn't play Paulie's club or something. So Paulie beats the shit out of him. And like you said, there's also Jake LaMotta. And, uh, you know, uh, we, we have a few scenes where we see Jake LaMotta as a drunken uh, stumble bum. 